Okay guys, how's she going today? So we're gonna get the old Ion up and running. Got the GoPro kind of set it up here with a redneck deal. Uh, that's my new gooseneck mount that I just bought. Um, I got the old one on Big Red. And that's just pointing to, to the exhaust. I got the battery in. I already checked the battery. Um, let me make sure that we, st we still had power to the car, and we do. So that means no wirings are. Uh, no wires or anything are shot in it. Um, but we need to check oil. Even though I'm sure it's pissing oil big times. Even though uh, I just think it only does it when it runs. So worst we can do to it is run it without oil. That's always that's it's kind of always a possibility, right? Running without oil. So this car has not ran for about a good year, I think. I, I ran it last year, last summer, um, for the last time because I was going to take the battery out and put it on a tender because the battery was getting a little bit, uh, the battery wasn't weak, it was just starting to get weak. Yeah, we're a little high on the oil, but that's probably just due to the fact with moisture in it. Um, water, you know, moisture from the engine probably possibly leaking somehow because I know that during the winter um, I think I looked at this car one time when it was sitting out here in the snow and there was actually snow um, no that was the first year when the car first got parked at my house I had it parked up up at the side of the house and there was snow and stuff blowing up in this motor so I was, it could have done that again this year so but yeah we're a little high on, on the oil but Remember, it's just freaking uh, oil and water. So what the? A little bit, a little bit of moisture won't hurt the engine. A lot will, but not too much. Um, I'm not going to check brake levels or anything like that because uh, we're still pulling brake, brake fluid. I might even try to maybe move this car a little bit, stretch its legs before winter. Um, because there's a possibility I might get this thing fixed. Um, I'll tell you why, but <clears throat> so yeah, I believe this is a 2.2 liter 2007 model. So yeah, so I'm going to fire up the uh, GoPro. You can hear the beeper going off because the key is in the ignition. So. Let me uh, get on the ground here and we'll set this camera up. Yeah, sometimes it won't start for me. I have to really get mean with it. There we go. Okay. Sorry to set the video camera mode. So all I gotta do now is make sure I got this adjusted right. Of course the point to the exhaust. Yeah. There we go. So that's videotaping. I believe it's videotaping. It better be. Oh yeah. Uh, we better check to make sure we put the uh, dipstick in all the way. Make sure this is tight. Make sure everything's. I'm just making sure there's nothing loose that can go flying away and blowing up the engine. So, this will be. We got power. I don't know if the fuel's any good in this thing, but. Let it prime the lines. Here we go. Oh yeah, it runs like it's it runs like it's brand new. After sitting all year, it just fires right up. That's amazing for a car. Well, whoever made this motor, I say, did a pretty good job on it. Besides, now it's got a knocking. It's got a knocking issue, but that's because it's got a blown connecting rod or something. Stupid in it. I'm going to 
shut this door because I don't want to get the I don't want to get gas fumes in it so surprising it's not that smoky though that's pretty surprising Not that smoky. I thought it would just be pouring out smoke, but that's interesting. It's running uh, quite smooth. I kind of wonder if maybe that piston or that, yeah, that connecting rod didn't get seized and now it's not banging. I bet you if I stand on it, it probably would, but. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So, oh, I still can't get in this fucking car. That's pretty good. That's riding right around 1,000 RPMs. I would like it to be a little lower than that. That might be because of the high idle on this thing. I don't know. Oh, well, it's starting to chooch there a little bit. Well, we'll get that on the GoPro. So, uh, radio works, but I took the antenna off because I didn't want um, someone taking it off. I'm not buying another fucking antenna for this car, so. Tuner. Yeah. That kind of works. Now, first one, we won't hear anything because of the antenna. So, I don't think there is a goddamn on off button on this thing. There's not. That's interesting. I guess the dirt doesn't have to be in. So I turned the track traction control off. But we'll just let it run. I don't even want to hit give it gas because I know that if I hit give it gas, it'll it'll start to run. It'll start to run funny. So just leave it as it is. Getting up to operating temperatures, which is a good thing. Hopefully, it doesn't overheat, but it shouldn't because it's not low on on any any antifreeze or anything like that. Uh, apparently, it's 65 out, facing north. And I don't think it's charging the battery. I think it's probably putting a tiny bit of juice into the battery, but uh, my uncle says that's probably not even charging when it idles. But I think it is, but it's just not going to like it wouldn't fully charge your battery so and the battery's full I ha I had it on a tender um, I had it on a tender all winter so it, it took about the battery was low and it took about maybe about a week and a half to charge it but now you guys got to remember this is this is a very small tender that I got too it was only meant to to tender batteries it wasn't made to actually well it, it'll charge them but it's not really meant to do that for you know for a battery that's low it's only meant to maintain them keep them from getting low you know it's one of those little battery tender junior things from delt train or whatever i've heard good things about their uh tenders so i wanted to give them a shot i got two of them so one for one for this car and one for big red the atv but that's the one that's on the car is actually meant for Big Red, but Big Red doesn't really need it because I run him a lot, so the battery stays charged. And then I got the other one on the John Deere for the winter. So I don't put anything on in the summertime um, because there's no point because I use it in the summertime. Everything, the mower. Um, and it's always good to it's always good to do that even in the wintertime, even if you are using them because in the wintertime it's actually really hard on batteries. Surprisingly though, as far as I know, my sister's had, the battery that's in this car now is, is original to this car. And this is a 2007 and it's 2015 now, just about to hit 2016. So, it's a pretty damn good battery. I don't know what brand it is, but I said on there, I don't really know, but 600 cold cranking apps, that bitch, that's actually quite a bit for 
I wouldn't mind putting something a little bit bigger in, but I guess 600 is good enough for this car. I mean, this, when my sister owned this car, it sat outside. It sat outside, no heated garage, nothing. And it uh, started every time. As far as I know, it started every time. I, yeah, I think so. It, it feels like, like there's been one time that I wouldn't, but I don't remember, though. There might have been one time where it didn't start, but I don't know. It's hard to say because it's not my car. I wasn't really, I mean, I was kind of mostly in it ever since she bought it new. So. So, yeah. The only bad thing about this car is that it's a GM product and this car is on a recall list, so... They were actually trying to get a hold of my sister quite a bit. You know, they were sending letters all the time. They even started calling her like, dude, your car is on the recall list. And I don't know if she ever called them and said, oh, hey, my car's not running, so I ain't going to worry about it, you know. But it's going to have to get fixed, even if, it, even if it comes out of my own pocket. Um, I think the, uh, something about the airbags and then something for the ignition or something. Something, something was fucked up in this car, so. Yeah, she's starting to run a little rough. She's dropping down now in RPM. She's struggling a little bit. But. Yeah. See, everything is getting all loose, I think, now. So now it's going to run probably a little rough now. I don't know. you think it would it'd be rough running tight. You know, once it loosens up, it would run better. But I don't know. I don't want to give it gas because then I know that freaking knocking will start happening. So I'll let her just let that piston seize and just leave it. Fuck it. You don't need a... If there's a piston not running, fuck it. Who cares? You know, we don't need that extra piston anyway. Not for what I'm going to be doing with it right now. Which is probably nothing. So so get a new engine possibly next year. Um, oh, there's a little, little knock. Someone's knocking on the trunk. Someone's walking on the trunk. So, but yeah, I just didn't want this engine to sit too long because I know what happens to engines. Engines if they, if they sit too long, they uh, they just eventually seize up, and then you got to try to break them free. And it's not worth trying to break an engine free. Uh, not for us anyway, because you know, for one, we don't really have the right kind of tools to do it, and we're not sure how to do it. And, we're not really in, we're not the type of people that want to tear an engine apart. If we have to tear it apart, it'll just go to a dealership and they can tear it apart and mess with it. But. So, yeah. I guess we could turn the GoPro off because I don't think it's doing it. And what was that? That was my phone. Yes, it was. And I got a new case for my phone. So, great. I'm going to get that the fuck out now. God damn it, I'm gonna have to get my phone out. I'm gonna shut this camera off. So, she's not even smoking now. So, I'm gonna put you guys on the seat and I'm gonna try to get my freaking phone out. How am I gonna get it the fuck out now? There we go. Okay, we're getting her. Okay. So, to avoid that from happening again, let's zip it up. Because my pants here does have uh, zippers on it. So. But yeah. I'm kind of just getting uh, set up with uh, relying on family members taking places and stuff. So it's getting to be a little bit ridiculous. And uh, lately, when my grandma takes me places... Because, you know, I don't have a vehicle as of right now. Um, she's been kind of a bitch. So I don't know what's, what crawled up her ass and died, but uh, I'm getting kind of set up with it. I, so, and I really can't ask my sister to come down because she lives way up in the cities, you know, which is like an hour south from here. She's going to come up. She was going to come up, come up on her birthday because I got her a case for her phone as well. And for the iPhones, you know. And uh, I was going to give it to her on her birthday, but then 
she knew that my grandma was being a bitch and I didn't want to deal with her. So she said, well, I'll just come up earlier then and take you if I have to then. Because she's got, oh, actually, she's got to come up anyway because she's going to bitch her boss out. Um, the, for some reason, they didn't, they're, they're supposed to give you a three month, um, three months off for taking care of the baby. And they're only giving her two. For some freaking reason. I, I guess because she had the kid earlier or something. I don't really know what the deal is. but So. And she was going to tell her boss that. She wants to work from home. Because it's it would be too much trouble for her to have to drive. All the way up here all the time. Even though she, she did it for a couple years. Or however long she's been living up there in the cities. And. She wanted to start working at home. And then her boss lady. Said no. So. So I don't know if maybe my sister's going to try to see if they can give her a different kind of a job there where where they can work at home. Because see, the thing is that some people there get to work home, get to work at home. And they get to, they come in maybe two times a day, two times a week to work. And they get the rest of the week off and they work at home. Well, you know, and they don't even live that far. They live not even like 10 minutes from where they work. See, my sister lives an hour away. So she's the one that probably should be having that kind of a job staying at home working. She could have just stayed here, but she wanted to live up there, so. So I don't know. But she said that if they uh, don't give her what she wants, um, she's just going to quit and find a job up there then. She said it's not worth it anyway, but. So. Yeah, when I turn the steering wheel there, it puts it under load. This is how much fuel they got left in that thing, if you can read it. This one right there is the fuel gauge. So we got quite a bit of fuel left in this thing. So, yeah, and the trunk door is open. But I plan on taking the battery out anyway. I'm not going to leave it, because there's no point. So I might drive it around maybe a little bit in the yard, just to stretch its legs a little bit. If it dies in the yard, it's, it, it'll just sit there then, I guess. But... Uh, if it hasn't died yet, it ain't gonna die anytime soon. So, just making sure everything works in this car. So, make sure the fan works. Now we should be getting cool air, I believe. I turn that. I turn that on. The air, the air conditioning in this car works pretty damn good. Works even better than in a new car, though. It starts going under a load like that. It's not not liking the fan on too much. This engine's probably so weak now because of the, not because of that. I don't know. It just seems weak now, but so yeah, I don't know. So. Kind of just getting sick and tired of uh, having to deal with family members always coming around and taking me fucking places. It's just getting kind of old. And then you got one that's being kind of a bitch, you know, and the other one's so far away. So, then unfortunately, I won't be able to do anything this for another do anything with this for another year. It's going to be sitting here another winter. So, I'm really thinking if I wonder if I, should, I was kind of thinking about putting this car in the shop for the winter. Because I don't, well last year, last winter it wasn't that bad, so, but I'm worried about so much weight of snow getting on this windshield that it'll crack it. I guess I could clean it. I do come past there with the snow plow, so I guess if there's too much snow on the car, I can just clean it off. It's 67 on now. It's gotten warmer. So. But yeah. So it's just kind of, you know. And apparently this, this car, the Saturns, um, Apparently they're no longer in business from what I heard, so they're not making anything. I wonder if they're even still, they, they gotta be making parts. Well, not Saturn, it would be GM that makes the parts, but. I don't know. I know that when my sister was, she was, she was thinking about either getting this car fixed or getting a new one. Well, she got a new one, obviously, but she did find a website that sells 
new motors for these cars. You can get new ones and you and you can get used ones, but I'd rather have a brand new one because I don't want it. Even if the used one has 10,000 miles on it, it's the point that you don't know how how it got those 10,000 miles. You don't know if it's been treated really good or if it's been treated really, really bad. Uh, if my sister's ex-boyfriend wouldn't wouldn't have beaten the crap out of this car, it probably would still be on the road today. But apparently my sister, sister says she's getting kind of tired of it anyway, which, well... This, she's on she's on her third car now, because she got the, the her very first car was the Pontiac Grand Dam, which is now what my, what my grandma has. She had that for a couple of years. She got tired of that, and then she got this car. Then this car blew up, and then she got the uh, Toyota, or whatever the fuck they call it. Um, so, it starts with a T. It's another really good car company, but... I, I believe that's made by GM as well. I don't think it's on a recall list as of yet, but they're, I'm sure that it will be soon, because they just can't make nothing right anymore. I know that my grandma's... Um, cars on a recall list too for something too but she never took it in so that's kind of why I don't that's another reason why I don't want to go with her too because her car is kind of a danger to everyone and plus she's got a cracked windshield and I know that sure in the hell wouldn't pass code I know I think some states um if you have a cracked windshield you just instantly get pulled over and you get a ticket for having a cracked windshield which is understandable for because it's a risk because it's not safe anymore. It's It's been weakened. So I get that. So, but apparently here it doesn't really, really matter. So looks like the last time this car was serviced was in 03, no, 013. Uh, had 121,000 miles. It's got 130 something now. That's the last time it was. I think that's when it was last. Uh, when it was last looked at. Well, I think when it has last oil change. So. But uh, yeah, I, I just can't really take it anymore with with going with other people. So. You know, you know, I didn't really want. I mean, I guess I've kind of wanted to keep this car because because I like it, but then. After GM's problems, you know, they, they just can't seem to pull their head out of their ass and make anything decent anymore. So that's why I was thinking about switching over to, well, I was thinking about going to Chrysler. Um, a Dodge Ram truck or something like that, but I guess apparently they're on a recall too. Which I don't hear anything about. So it must just be like little things. See, we're with, we're with GM. These are some major problems, you know. I mean, the airbags don't work, the ignition's not working right. Apparently, um, and then I guess with Ram, they just got some little tingly shit that doesn't work quite right, and they want to fix it. But you know, once you get the problems fixed on those on those trucks, they are worth it. See, with GM, I don't know because GM's got so many problems. I mean, they're they're calling call cars back from the year 2000 all the way up to 2015. It's just nuts. Like, come on. You seriously cannot make a car right anymore. I don't know. Can you guys sit there? Yeah, you can. So, I know you guys ain't seeing nothing, but. Just give it some gas. Wake it up a little bit. Seatbelt light, which is quite interesting. She's smoking when I give her gas, so that's good. I'm going to maybe see if I can maybe move this thing a little bit, stretch its legs for the winter, and uh, see how it does. I gotta put the hood down, boys. And the course. What do you know? It's just pissing oil all over the engine again, which is kind of. Kind of figured what happened. This car's retarded. I'm gonna go through the. Oh, it died. Uh oh. I'm not happy now, boys. Did 
Now she's riding over her, over her RPMs again. She was kind of hard starting. I don't know why the battery's not dead. I think the engine's probably walking up a little bit. This gears might actually be kind of hard on it. I don't want to rev it up too much because then it'll it will actually just probably explode, right? I'm sitting in neutral. Put it in drive. Took my foot off the brake. Let's see if she'll move. I'm just revving it up slowly. I got that board there too. So and she's moving boys. We're just gonna take her around the yard. We're serious because if it's dead, if it should die, then it'll die in my yard. Oh shit. I almost hit my water main. Just go around a big old circle for a little bit, you know, just to stretch its legs a little bit. I don't want to take it on the road because that could cause an issue. Like if it died right here, it'd be fine. You know, even I don't want it to die here, I'd rather have it die there back in its parking lot, but what are you gonna do, right? I do apologize my face isn't in the video, you guys don't need to see my face. If you want to see my face, go watch a different video. Brakes work pretty good in this car still though, which is pretty surprising. Steering works good. How's the e-brake work? Ooh, works good. Ooh, yeah. Still works pretty good. This car doesn't scream its brakes. Or the, when you pull the e-brake, e it doesn't beep. Pontiac beeps. Now we should have a light that pops up. Yes, we do get a light that pops up. But it does not beep at you, which is what I like. Because that freaking that takes me off. Well, if we give our RPMs under 2,000, we should be okay. I don't think it'll... I don't want to hit the neighbor's tree. This transmission is very, very grabby, though. Which is, I guess, good. And you guys are probably saying, well, why are you doing that? Well, I'm just stretching it. Because if it sits too long and then everything gets kind of shot, and then, then you just got to put more money into it. And like I said, it, it sat all year, so it's time to get her. Get some air. It's time to move her. I guess we could go to a different part of the yard, but I don't want to go too far. Uh, this car's got a damn good transmission, I tell you, though. But this is a little bit weak for some reason there in reverse. It's running dry, but... Reverse, no. She wants nothing to do with, re with reverse. So this got done sucking out the crap tank again. You guys will probably will see that video first before this. Come on, stay above a thousand, you'll be fine then. Now, don't die here though, because... Well, you could die here if you wanted to, but then you'd be looking at the school all winter. I guess we'll fit under here fine. Yep. needs a good, good cleaning though too, that's for sure. It's got, it needs new car seats and everything. You know what's going to be fun now is to try to put this thing back in its parking lot. That's going to be quite freaking fun to try. Now 
we're still gonna hit the frickin' neighbor's tree. It pisses me off. Not wide enough. She's very grabby for some reason today. She wasn't like that once. She, was... she wasn't like that before. Well, the engine light's not on, which is surprisingly good. See, another thing too I want to do this too is that I'm getting the fuel moving again in the tank and everything and I'm cleaning out the uh, fuel lines and stuff too. So, the steering is still loose in this car. I like it. Okay, let's see if we can make that. Oh yeah, we made it for once. So, still got to add the GoPro vids onto the end of that, onto the end of this video. So that'll be a long video for you guys. Kind of funny looking at my shop without, you know, with the car not being there, but I know I'm driving it, but it just looks different now. So I'm used to it being there all winter, right? Now, how did I back this son of a bitch in here? That's the question. How did I do that? I guess I did. Oh, it died. Well, I'm not revving it up fast. Uh, Probably just not not happy to be running. I don't blame it. I mean, I wouldn't want to be running either if I was a piece of shit falling apart. So I don't blame it. Now I don't know if I'm going to be on my board or not. Feels like I went on to it. We'll take a look here. I'll probably die. Nope, I'm actually way the hell off. I'm not even... Nowhere even near it. I guess I was a lot closer to that building than I thought. pretty close. I actually just gotta look at the tracks down here. Why not put like that? And it should just slip right into the holes again. Alrighty guys. So she's back in her back in her spot and the fan just got them turning off. So the fans still work. They could probably salvage the fans. Alright, stop your... Just stay out of constant RPM there. So anyway, guys, I'm going to take off. Um, and the next part here after this will be the uh, little shot of the... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll even try to squeeze it in between, I don't know. Uh, well, however I want to do the editing, you'll see the shot of the exhaust pipe there blowing the smoke. Oh, it's not an auto up, it's only an auto down. That sucks. She just died. She's, she's getting stiff for some reason. It's not too good. But it is running though. So that's good. But yeah, anyways guys, I'm going to take off. Um, I stretch his legs. Um, not a lot, but it should be, uh, I could drive ahead a little bit when it looks like. Now we should be in our right spot. So, yeah. So there you go, guys. Nice, uh, cold start to the uh, 2007 Saturn Ion. And I think she's about ready to call it quits again. But you know that's pretty good though for sitting all year and just firing up like that. She was a little stiff, but you know, she moved, and she's still moving. So yeah. She's gonna, there she goes again, she's gonna quit. 
you can see how she starts starts to struggle. So there she goes, and she died. All right, well, we'll just let her sit and just let her sit there. I guess then we're done for that. It ran. Um, I don't want to wear it out too much, so because I got to be able to save some of this engine life for next year. Um, when the time does come to actually move it and get it up on a trailer or something and get it to a shop and get it repaired, so. Because I'm not going to be able to get the tow truck back here, I don't think, to lift it up onto a trailer or on the back of the tow truck or something like that, right? So, just going to have to, you know, gotta save some life. It'll run, though, apparently. It'll run fine, so. But, uh, so yeah, I'll take the battery out probably later and I'll, um, stick it back on the, uh, Stick it back in the uh, back on the tender, and then we're good. We're good for another year. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna take off. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, cold start to the car with the blown motor. Uh, seems like the last few videos that I've uploaded, they've gotten some decently good views. You know, like close to 200. So, I guess a lot of people dig these kind of cars. I don't know. So, but uh, yeah, that's kind of interesting, huh? I didn't check the blinkers. I guess I could still do that, but uh, it'll work. So, yeah, I anyway, guess I'm gonna take off. So I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Running uh, quite smooth. I kind of wonder if maybe that piston or the connecting rod didn't see and now it's not banging. I bet you if I stand on it, it probably would, but.
Thank you.